So this year we've upgraded to the new Archiform rakes. As you can see here, there's quite small teeth. They're designed not to move too much sand. The green staff rate the bunkers every morning and we disperse the sand ourselves. So it should just be a case of just smoothing your way out on the way back out after playing your shot. There's quite a lot of common mistakes by golfers after they've raked a bunker. And this morning I'm just going to show you on this bunker here at the 13th hole. And we're going to show you exactly how to rake the bunker on your way out to make it playable for the person that's playing behind you. So here we are back in the bunker at 13. I'm just going to show you a couple of do's and don'ts. The most common mistake is the one-handed rake, pulling the sand towards you and leaving it in big piles. And then throwing the rake back in. The correct way to do it, always two hands on the rake, pushing the sand up smoothly, always pushing the sand away from you, not leaving any bumps. Taking out all the foot marks. As I said, the, 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 the teeth on these rakes are very small as not to move too much sand. Tap the feet on the way out so there's no lumps of sand on the edge of the grass. And I leave the rake in the direction of play, about three feet in the bunker.